Uh, I think we just fought that boss, right? Hmm. Yeah, I got a little. Might as well. Might as well take a nap now that now that Ray's not lonely. We can kill that stupid old new anytime. How you doing? Uh, whoever whoever showed up here at Eastview today. Um, <laughs> this ain't no this ain't no full Michael video. This ain't for nobody, but whoever just wants to show up, show up at show up at the house, hang out a little bit. That's a nice crit. Um, I don't think I have anything to talk about. Um, it is Christmas Eve, um, but I'm not. There's not a lot going on. Um, Dad's out of town. Uh, sisters aren't doing anything that I know of. Uh, well, they'll be coming by with Arthur tomorrow for a, a short time, but you know he's still he's still newborn, uh, so it won't be like very long. Um, and and me and Guy aren't exactly uh, stick around for a long time. People, you know, we we put in our time and then we make our Irish exit. Just like all real heroes. Um, I mean, there's nothing for me to really give to anybody. To I mean, again, I'm I'm doing more of the it's a season thing. Um, I think I'm debating who to like send a text to, just saying Merry Christmas. Uh, but no one's really been around <laughs> for a couple months, so it's all like. All right, I mean, I guess I could do a thing for once this year where I just wait to see who messages me and respond instead of going out of my way to wake up and send out like 20 messages all individually. Um, I could just I could just sit back and see who really loves me. I bet it's, I bet it is honestly very few people, uh, that say a word. Uh, I might hear from Mike. I might hear from Aphrodite. I guess I'll probably, well, I mean, I'll definitely send one out to a Nazi anyway. Um. A trail of blood. It must be the monster's blood. Um, but I don't think I have a lot of people to. Hmm. I'm not super worried about it. I'm not like bothered. But I'm supposed to feel bothered, so it's like. It's a weird, it's like, I, it's the kind of thing that I hate, where it's like, alright, well I guess I have to ex explain myself, <laughs> um, why I appear to not care is because you didn't care, so why should I? Um, I'm being a little ranty, a little ravey. But again, that's what that's what I do here. Just sit in front of the game and <laughs> it all out. I'm all 
today, I'm off tomorrow. That's pretty nice. I mean, I'll have to work Tuesday and Wednesday back to back, and normally I'm off Tuesdays, but still, I don't, I don't ever see two days off in a row, so it's kind of nice to not have to worry about all that. No, shit. What else? Um, I keep looking at this wall. I need to work on this wall. I need to rotate my room some. I've been saying these things for like two weeks and I haven't done it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I need to do. And I'm so... caught up in my own little routines where it's like... I need to change some habits up again. I'm not. <laughs> I'm very. F I'm frustrated with myself about things I don't really need to be frustrated about. Where I'm like, I need to start working out again in my free time. And it's like I'm still usually sore, like all the time. Um, I'm still in good shape. <laughs> like I don't. I don't really need to do all that, but. Like, I need to get back into that groove. I need to start building a habit. Um, I mean, I started great, but I haven't built a habit of it at all. Which could be as simple as just logging on every day after I get into work and then not even doing anything. I mean, just sitting there for two minutes staring at a screen and logging out until it becomes like, alright, I have to do something with this time. Um, you know, I need to, need to get back out to the woods and start working. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I need to do, and I'm so... Not. <laughs> I need to get back to the real world instead of all this... Holy shit, social media bullshit. Why are, we, why are we here? Because I have to be, because it, it already is. It already exists. <laughs> it already exists, and it's a problem. It has to be shaped and reformed, or... And no one's gonna do it, because everyone in the entire world is caught in the loop right now. There's no such thing as a free thinker. Probably exaggerating, but maybe not. Doesn't matter. No, I have no. I don't have freestyle skills. I can't. I can't sit off and uh, win a freestyle rap battle of any kind whatsoever. I, I can't even compete. Look at me doing doing the thing. That's the way we be. Because we're trying to get that one ring. I'm the sorenest of the boringest. And boringest florists. That's the way we pour it out of our mouths into... Onto the, the floor. It's my calling to be another MC straight from the hood coming at thee. Got wood in my pants, fif 15 inches at a glance, but really it's seven seven feet tall. I'm I'm the penis. <laughs> that's my ooh, that's some good freestyle. And and that bitch a hoe, you know for sure, because I opened the door and she she dropped to the flow. Put my dick in her mouth, and that's how why why she pouts when she smiles, because her lips are covered in miles and miles of semen and and blood from the way that we went about doing our stuff and <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a name, 
Uh, his, um, I mean, he has a name, but he doesn't have, like, a name. Uh, Thomas. Fucking. I bet no one remembers that guy. I mean, out of, like, just off the top of their head. Uh, I always liked Thomas. No one else liked him, because he was, like, a compulsive liar. <laughs> but it was, it was all harmless lies. It was just, like trying to not look like a loser. <laughs> um, he was, he, you know who he is, uh, is um, white Kevin Hart. That's, that's who Thomas <laughs> was. Um, and he had a girlfriend named Barrett. Um, Barrett liked me, but she was with Thomas. <laughs> um, which always made me feel, she always wore these like cut off jeans and she would always have these big tears in the back so it's like her ass was just all out. She was real hot. Um, and I remember they had sex in high school and <laughs> his response like at the lunch table was just, Oh no, guys, I just can't get off when she's crying. We, I don't know. Uh, everyone, I never laughed that much at it. Um, I, th I thought it was funny that someone would ever say that out loud. <laughs> everyone else thought just the very idea was hilarious. I can't get off when she's crying, man. Um... So that became a big, a big thing. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> like, <laughs> to me, that's proof that he's actually a decent human being, sort of. I mean, not like the most upstanding guy. Whenever people would get in trouble, he would book it. Um, he was just like very of a mindset. Like, I'm not letting anything. Uh, wreck my future in any way, shape, or form. I'm out of here. I'm a ghost. I'm gone. I'm running. <laughs> um, he was neither loyal nor disloyal. Um, he, was just, uh, he was around and he was fine. No one really liked him. Cause he was just a tool. He was a tool. Of, but I liked him. I always liked him. Um, there are very few things that he did, other than just the way that he presented himself. Um, he never, he was never hurting anybody, <laughs> like, but people just wanted to be annoyed that he was such, like, a kind of poser. Uh, but to be fair, he was really short and skinny. <laughs> uh, much nerdier than he came off, and very focused on school, not, like, not real things of like doing stuff so uh you just want to be a cool kid you just want to be a cool guy there's nothing wrong with that yeah he would um we went to the state fair together and uh, when I was at UK, um, and he, da, 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 da. yeah, would just like when or fish fries stuff like that. Um, he would always bum a cigarette from me, uh, not to smoke, just to hold in his mouth while he walked around, because he wanted to look cool. <laughs> And he wanted to look like me and Zagreus. Um, <laughs> which annoyed me, because I was broke as fuck. And so, I'd be like, dude, you're just, you're, if you're not going to smoke the cigarette, then don't take it from me. Like, you got money. Give me, pay me for it then. Something. I, I mean, I give up cigarettes away to homeless people. They're five cents per. It's like, homeless people are always like, I'll give you a dollar. And I'm like, no. 
N no, just take. Here's three cigarettes. Just take them. Jesus Christ. You could practically buy a pack for that if you just <laughs> put in a little more. Put in a little more time with that dollar. Thomas's parents. Why are we talking about Thomas? It's a weird direction for this to have gone. Um, his parents were super, were like his dad was super wealthy. I don't think I ever met either of his parents. I mean, I was at his house a lot. I don't think I ever met his parents. I don't think they were ever there. Uh, he had a no, it wasn't him. Um, it was, uh... It was an Andrew. I don't remember. I didn't like that Andrew. Uh, but he was real popular. But I hated him. Um, to sorry, this is not about Thomas. This is something totally different. But now I'm segueing, in segueing into it. It had the post-prom party. Uh, at this guy's house and my prom date had to be home by like a 10 or 11 or something um, it was cra like crazy to me um, so I just took her home and then went to this party for like an hour before being like okay it feels really weird being the only person in this entire house without a date that they're trying to have sex with um, and his little brother, who was like eight years old or something, was just sitting up on the second floor with his, like, looking down from the rafter, or not the rafters, but the banister, and just watching this party all night with the most sour look on his face, just like, I hate all of you. Um, and I, I, when I saw that kid, and the way uh, well, let's make sure we explored everything um, and saw the look on that kid's face and just like intruders in my home get out I just want to fucking sleep like that kind of shit I that's when I left the party I was like I can't stay here <laughs> like some cops are gonna get called this kid is gonna be fucking traumatized. I, I'm out. Um, but I just went home and was sad about not having, because prom was on my 18th birthday. Um, and I know I've told this story before, but it's here. Here's where we are. And uh, there was a girl that I was planning to take the prom. Uh, she was cute. She wasn't like gorgeous, but she was cute. Um, in this, in a hot girl sort of way. And I was planning on taking her. She was planning on being taken by me. Um, and we were planning on having, I was, we were planning on having sex that night. And I was planning on losing my virginity. We didn't date or anything like that, but she was down. Um, and then every day at the lunch table, uh, Mike complained and complained and complained about how lonely he was and how much he loved this girl. Um, and so I canceled it with her. And because I had another girl's number who I had gotten, I don't know, a week ago or something. Um, and, and so I thought, okay, well, I have someone else I can take to prom. Um, I can abandon my American Pie dream. <laughs> um, 
I said, why don't you, why don't you ask Courtney? I'm, I'm sure she'll say yes. Uh, and so then he did, and after I had told her um, that I wasn't going to take her, that uh, she should let Mike take her. And so he did. Uh, and I guess they had a good time or a bad time. I don't remember. I think everyone got drunk. Probably I didn't drink yet at all then. Um, I don't even remember my dates then. I mean, I don't, that's the only date I ever had with her. I, I took her home. Uh, and I never saw her talk to her again. Um, so prom was pretty dumb. I wore an all black navy tux. I didn't like navy officer tux. Not tux suit. I didn't know it was uh, a navy outfit at all. Because uh, it's not standard in any way, it was, but it was like, I guess, like a special occasions outfit that this one place made. Uh, but it was all black, black shirt, black tie, black jacket, black pants, black shoes. Uh, I tell you what, I pull it off, pull off all black pretty good. Everyone liked it. I was, I was declared by many best dressed. I tell you what, they're right, I was. I was the most bestly dressed. I, I thought it looked actually uh, ill-fitting, but no one else seemed to agree. And again, everything is ill-fitting on goddamn teenagers. Goddamn teenagers. Uh, so Thomas had a big house, and we had we did a lot of like drinking game parties there. Um, some after I drank, some before I drank, some after I drank. Um, They had a trampoline in the back. That was fun. I mean, I don't know. I mean, just, it was a good time. I, I always wish that he wasn't so dead set on, like, just making friends to get through the time until he became a doctor and had a wife and could just stay at home forever. Whatever, you know. Um... That by his nature, uh, all friendships were temporary and circumstantial. And again, that doesn't mean he's a bad friend. He's a pretty decent friend most of the time. Um, just with the expectation that these are all for like a year or two, <laughs> if that. Uh, and then everyone separates. There is no permanency to this. Um, I'm finding most people, whether they intend to be that way or not, are in fact that way. And at least he was aware and honest about it. Whereas me, I just want to never let go of any relationships because they're... Look, you can tell me to be different, but that will never make me different. <laughs> I, I am not... I do not make friends easily. Either because of me, or because of them, or back and forth dynamic. I mean, no matter the case, I am slow to come out of myself. Um, people are slow to warm up to me, and most interactions do not have that kind of uh, longevity and depth for me to just make friends. Uh, I just don't have, I don't have the patience.
I, I don't have the patience to wade through shallow bullshit to get there. It died on its feet like it was trying to protect the cave behind it. You filthy monster. <gasps> oh no, the babies. They're, they're cubs. But it looks like they've been dead for a long time. That new must not have realized they were dead and kept on bringing food back for them. Like, look at that fucking face, though. Like, I... When I've watched this scene in the past, like, there's a bit of heart-wrenchingness to it. It's like, oh no, the babies. But that thing is still a monster. Um, Boy, it wasn't too bright, was it? But also... These things are, like, hideous. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> like, oh no, I'm sorry they're all dead. Also, I'm glad they're dead. Look at the clown face. I mean, his cubs were already dead. Boy, if this doesn't beat all. Alright. That's it. We did it. Save the whole world. As a kid, though, that mo this moment definitely sticks with me. Sticks with you. Um, it's my mother, mother trying to protect the babies. The mother trying to protect the babies. And you don't want to have to do it. You don't want to have to. But sometimes things like this have to occur because otherwise uh, Zagreus in the form of a lumberjack will uh, keep you tied up in his home uh, for eating some of his beef jerky and so he needed he needs you to commit a genocide on some manticore looking motherfucker so how does it feel to do some real work for change. Mm. When spring comes, the animals will return and life will get a little easier. You all did a good job. Congratulations. Wait a minute. You knew the new was only hunting for food for her cubs. And you still had us kill her? If you had known she had cubs, would you have let her live? I mean, again, Bunyan, this, this entire situation was constructed, concocted, and crafted solely by you and while we are friends and I do like you and you know agree to your demands without you know hardly a word of complaint really um, you need to understand that asking me uh, a moral question <laughs> as a response doesn't really work because it's your scenario Would I have, if I had known she had cubs, would I have let her live? Um, it depends. <laughs> but are you still holding my friends hostage? Because then, no, I can't really, can I? Uh, or is it just because she's terrorizing the village? Because I had no plans to go up to Mount Glaus to murder a new until you took my friends hostage. It's all very, you know what I mean? You're on a high horse about making me do something for you. It's, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to rant about this for at least 15 to 20 minutes before we can get rid of these conflicting 
feelings inside. Good job. Good job, people. Hey, why don't we go down to the village and show them who did it? Tell them who got rid of the monster. Hmm. I don't know. Isn't it better if we don't brag about it? What? What is that? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go see what they're saying about us, would it? Then we can go? Oh. Come on, come on! <clears throat> well, no, we're not going yet. We gotta see if we've stocked up our... Oh, the apples are already gone? That's terrible news. That's terrible news. I can come down here now. Find more herbs. Ooh. Ooh. Seriously, this is... This is a great house. And I don't know why my friends don't want to quit their jobs and build a little house like this with me, with underground tunnels that go to the river. Oh my god. Oh my god, it would be amazing. Just need to install a space heater and a window AC. And we'd be living the life, man. Oh, uh, I wanted to just go upstairs and take a nap. Or, I don't need a nap, I'm healed. Um, I just want to save and quit. We did it. We did the job. We, we, this has probably been over 20 minutes now. And I told a whole couple high school stories. Not that I went into great detail. I got all these images floating around about them in my head. And by images, I mean the idea of images. <laughs> and... Uh, so real easy to uh, pull out and uh, put into words for you. You know, that idea of a feeling. Um, but yeah, I mean, we went through a couple couple stories, so it's got to have been at least 20 minutes. And I just got to keep saying words until we, until we safe. Oh, it's a back door. Oh, he's, there's so many ways in and out of this place. It's great. Oh, he's... Ray, Ray must be having a hard time fitting here. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. What am I doing with myself? What am I gonna do with myself? Play this game all day make 17 of these videos, that'd be, it's actually, that'd be a bad day, it's probably what I should do, is just, fucking not give a shit about anything, and just ramble until I'm out of breath.